Six weeks into their season, the Marquette football team continues to show improvement while navigating through their Big North Conference schedule. Marquette sits with a 3-2 overall record, 3-1 in conference play, and they're the winners of two straight games. A big key for their recent success has been the play in the trenches, specifically on the offensive line. And they're led by senior Dason Smith, who's been a force for Marquette and has the team eyeing the postseason. This is by far the, you know, obviously the largest uh, offensive line that I can remember having here at Marquette. I mean, I think we average out at 6'5 on the line. We got obviously Dason, 6'6, uh, six, six, Talon, 6'6, six, six, uh, Pavel, 6'7. I mean, just huge across the O-line, um, and it's a real advantage to go against the defense. The Marquette offensive line is an impressive group. With a unique blend of size, cohesion, and ability, Marquette has been able to wear down opponents while getting stronger as the game progresses. It's not only that we're like six foot five, you know, or we all weigh over 230 pounds. I mean, we're just, I feel like we're fast too. We, we, we can get on our blocks faster than most lines can, you know. You want to run the ball. Obviously, we, we all watch football on Saturdays and Sundays. The teams that run the ball the best end up the teams that throw the ball the best. I mean, it just goes hand in hand. So you want to have that to complement each other. And we're getting Getting to that point now, and obviously Tucker Welch has been a big part of this, Curtis Houghton as well. While the guys up front deserve a lot of credit for Marquette's improving run game, the group is happy to let their skill players get most of the shine as long as they leave the field with a victory. I mean, we just do our job, uh, do what we're told, um, and as a unit, we just push forward and we let the skill guys just take the credit and go on forth. I remember we were playing the Sioux and I, I felt his, his shoulder pad like hit my back and then he's just running in the end zone. I was like, oh my God, let's go. I was like, let's go. And I was just running down the field and there was another time when uh, we were against Alpina and he took this long run all the way down the end zone. I was like, I was like, dude, like, this is what we've been, this is what we wanted to accomplish and it's happening. Being a lineman long enough, um, you actually do still get, it turns from a, a being salty kind of like, oh, I wish I could have scored a touchdown to more of like a, a teamwork thing of like, hey, I know in my mind that play worked because I blocked my guy or I know in my mind that, you know, we chopped down the field so our QB didn't get touched. So, I mean, it definitely, I, I feel like uh, the older you get, you do realize that. The offensive line is just as impressive with their pass blocking, making life much easier for junior quarterback Jackson Jermu. He's in there and he's learning every day and it, it's a heck of a lot better being back there, being able to break down defenses and read them when you don't got guys in your face. At six foot six and 300 pounds, senior left tackle Dason Smith is hard to miss. He's the undisputed leader of the O-line, instilling confidence into his teammates that are lined up next to him. But what's most impressive about Smith is his agility at his size. I, you know, I used to play hockey and I, that joined wrestling, so I feel like my agility is something that I've been working on for a long time just by doing other sports. The young man jumped into wrestling for the first time ever and ended up at Ford Field, uh, you know, in the finals. I mean, you find me another individual that's never wrestled comes out his junior year and makes it to Ford Field. That, that's pretty impressive. So I knew from there, not only does he have the size, the agility, but he also has the want to. Um, he's just a hardworking individual. And one of the things that impressed me the most about him in the offseason was his willingness to help coach the other linemen. The X's and O's of the game is something Smith excels at. He's very good at explaining and coaching. And this is, this is an interesting point. Dason's a heck of a chess player, which makes sense with being able to pick up wrestling, being able to pick up, you know, the different dynamics and blocking and whatnot. He's thinking ahead and, you know, he's he's very intelligent when it comes to those type of things. With three games remaining on their regular season schedule, Smith is hoping to end his career at Marquette with a deep playoff run. He will continue his academic and playing career next year as a member of the Central Michigan football team. He plans to continue his development as a player for the Chippewas while studying exercise science. I've always wanted to go to Central, just, just to go there for school. You know, I feel like Central is just a, a right spot because it's not too big and it's not too small. I just feel like it was the perfect spot because I feel like I could secure a position there. They just told me that they would make me a, a better lineman. And I just, after the first camp that I went there, I just knew that maybe that, that they would. I honestly think we haven't even tapped the potential of Dason Smith. They're going to get it out of him next year and the years following at Central Michigan, and they're going to be the ones that benefit from it.